the formidable robot. This topic has been thrown around quite a bit, but this needs to be asked in a general sense, what lies beyond the red play button? What is the dark side of YouTube? YouTube is the platform best known for being the best, and the worst, platform on the internet. You'd see normal common stuff like funny compilation videos or those cat and dog video shorts that spends most of the shorts feature. Don't get me started on YouTube kids or that brain rot Elsa Gate content farm bullshit. But the discussion I wanna talk about is the more, disturbing, aspect of YouTube. The dark videos that spread like wildfire. We've had examples becoming successful, like Marble Hornets, Don't Cut Me I'm Scared, The Back Rooms, Mandela Catalog, Salad Fingers, etc. But then you get disturbing animations, music videos and weird ARG and downright disturbing videos. Examples like the Garfield Gorefield horror videos, a disturbing grungy 2000s looking Spongebob parody called Spongebob Sick Pants, a gruesome 3D animated Teletubbies Star Wars crossover parody called Teletubbies Gets Owned by Dark Tubby, and plentiful more disturbing videos. There are exemptions like lost episode videos, but then you'd get videos like you don't comprehend what time it is and it's the great beyond from Thoughtful, where it pushes the aspect of horror and downright trippy atmosphere, with the first one being a downright disturbing pathway into adventure time fused with every single horror thing possible. I could talk for hours about certain videos and mention them in highlights, but it's best if you see them for yourself. Now, what's the main factor in this? Right now, it's mostly the ARG analog horror genre with online web shows. Examples like the Nick DVD series, the No Dolak in Saga, SpongeBob Resignation Incident, the July 25, 2005 Saga, and multiple ones, and that's only just Nickelodeon. There's plentiful others from Cartoon Network, Disney, Noggin, PBS, BBC, ABC from America, ABC from Australia, ITV, THX, video games, you name it. Highlights from disturbing videos I've seen, like in Spongebob Sick Pants, Spongebob beheads a fish and makes it into a Krabby Patty, and then Patrick eats Squidward's corpse off-screen. In lasagna, Garfield asks John for lasagna, and when John goes to the other room, Garfield morphs into a centipede cat creature with a gut-twisting crackly voice that says that he must consume, and to cap it off in the series, we'll be right back. Multiple anomalies were captured, including ones for Nickelodeon and other kids' stations, and even caught red mist on air, and others like the lost episode of Teletubbies called Skeletons being aired on ABC for kids in Australia. What do you guys think? Is YouTube getting way darker than usual? Should horror on YouTube stop? I can answer this one by saying no. Most people run on shocking, disturbing and horrific animations, music videos and cryptic shows. Without these, we wouldn't have the lost media community, the lost episode and video game creepypasta community, and the cartoon and gaming community, making multiple retakes, edits, versions, and collections of their favorite stories. Again, what do you guys think? Me? I think YouTube is perfectly disturbing in every aspect no matter where you look, 